Finally with a more practical car for the snow, an Audi Quattro. It just doesn't get much better than this for a car to use as a daily driver in the winter. I thought today go and have some fun on some very icy, snowy, wet conditions, which is actually when you can get the full potential from this car and really use it for what it was made for. Now, as much as I'm a Porsche fan, I'm also an Audi fan. I've owned a couple of Audis in my time, starting off with the Audi A1 Quattro, the limited edition one. Then I moved on to an Audi RS Q3 and as most of you know, the new Audi RS6, which has now been sold. I loved the RS6, long story short, an amazing car. I hope I own one again one day, but this time when I owned it, to be honest, I just didn't use it to its full potential. It was an overkill of a car to have as a daily driver. I wasn't using the space, I wasn't using the power. It was just like too much of everything. And I hope that I can have an RS6 again one day, but really then use it too its full potential but until then and something like this actually would have made much more sense like the rsq3 which to this day i miss that's probably one of my favorite audis still at the moment i was so sad giving back the rsq3 a year ago and i still miss it now which says a lot to me says that it really was a great car and on top i actually sold my rs6 with the mindset of buying an rs3 so when i sold the rs6 went online did a configuration of my dream rs3 and then quickly found out that getting one delivered anytime soon is not going to happen because as you all know ordering anything at the moment like my apple macbook which has now been eight months in the waiting everything is just taking so long so car brands are struggling to get parts to make the cars and there's just a huge waiting list for everything so hopefully i still will have an rs3 as a daily driver in the winter eventually but at the moment it looks like it's going to be next winter because the only ones online for sale at the moment are super boring configurations it's a shame because i would have loved to have one as a daily driver this winter however i've still got the porsche 992 carrera s so i definitely can't complain so quick walk around the car before we go have some fun in the winter with a quattro overall I do like the car, the styling. There's a couple of things I don't like. For instance, just not a big fan of all this over the top honeycomb mesh stuff. It just, especially here, you know, it looks like vents, but it's actually not vents. I also wish inside the exhaust, you didn't see these two tips. I wish it was joined up with the overall tip because I actually really like the Audi oval tip but as you can see inside it's not joined together what else are ah, the wheels now the design of the wheels which are a little bit um, snowy at the moment because I decided to try and drift the car a bit in the snow they look quite nice but they're just far too small for the car they're 19 inch but they just look like tiny wheels on this car if you get one and put bigger wheels on, I think it's gonna look amazing. But as it stands now, not feeling it. And on the topic of wheels is the ride height. It's just, I mean, it's sitting like a tractor. It's supposed to be an Audi RS model, but the ride height is ridiculous. It's far too high. So a combination of the wheels being too small for me personally, and the ride height being way too high it's really making this car look uneven, it just doesn't look right. 
However, of course, if I was to buy one, bigger wheels, lower the suspension, and it would already look really good then. Here at the front, another point I don't like, we've got the traditional Audi honeycomb grille, and then half of it is now blocked off. So it used to be holes everywhere, as you can see here. And for whatever reason, I'm sure there must be some reason behind it, the center bit is now covered. So you have flats here and then holes here and then holes here. The older Audi honeycomb grills for me just looked way better. So for me, not an improvement, but overall it's still a very cool car. It has a lot of potential. Like I said, once it's got bigger wheels on, once you, some aftermarket suspension will be available, which it's not at the moment, this car is gonna look seriously cool. Some nice little updates as well. Finally, the RS3 has an electric boot lid, which is a very nice little feature, I think. It is a hundred grand car at the end, so I would hope that it does have some luxuries. I say we try a launch control in the snow. So I'm gonna put everything off into full RS performance mode, stability control on partly off. I need to turn that totally off. I think if I hold this down for five seconds, there we go, everything is completely off. Fact is there's not many cars you can do things like this in. I'm sitting in snow and I want to do a launch control. It's an Audi Quattro, you can do it. Off we go. <laughs> there we go. An Audi Quattro in the winter. Just fun. However, speaking about the sound, inside the car, they have managed a way to divert a lot of the five cylinder sound into the cabin it doesn't sound fake and i'm pretty sure it's no fake sound coming through speakers they've just managed to kind of vent in a lot of the sound so when you're driving it it's nice you do get that timeless five cylinder sound i honestly have missed driving <laughs> driving audis in the winter it's just for me the car of choice it's all fun driving you know the 992 carrera s around it's real drive it's fun it's funny but for a car to actually really use and not be afraid in weather conditions like this an audi quattro is just the way to go i mean there's no other car that i've driven so hard in my life in the winter than an audi quattro but still feeling completely safe and in control. One thing I noticed in the first day is, holy moly, it, honestly, it's so fast, this car. It's crazy impressive, and I will say this, it feels as fast as my old RS6. That might sound crazy, but it really, really does. Whether how fast <laughs> how fast it actually is compared to the RS6 I would be interested to know the thing with the RS6 is because it's such a big car although it's 600 horsepower you lose a lot of the feeling so when you put your foot down you are moving at some speed but you don't really feel it in this you definitely feel it and I tell you honestly it's just unbelievably quick it really will put a lot of bigger sports cars to shame you don't get this horrible understeer it really feels quite weird around corners because you're like oh what is this this is very much not traditional audi quattro feeling you really get the sensation going around a corner like in a sports car so steering wise and feedback and fun factor huge improvement compared to the previous generation so this one also has the optional carbon ceramic brakes in blue which i really really like now after using this car for the last week i will say that although the carbon ceramic brakes are of course very nice feature i do feel that they are probably an overkill for this car they feel quite on or off i don't 
feel like I have too much feeling through them. And on the R6, yep, totally get it. Big, heavy car, 600 horsepower. But on this, I would say you don't need these ceramic brakes at all. They put you back in your seat. I know it's only an RS3, but oh, it's really quick, I tell you. And I'm just flying around these corners. I mean, the conditions are awful. And the Audi Quattro is just smashing it. This is a genuine smile right here. It really is exciting me. It's totally coming to life now. <laughs> wow, okay, yeah. Up till now, I was like, I was impressed, but now I'm driving it like this. It's super cool car. So this one in this configuration is just over 100,000 Swiss francs. The cost of a new RS3 is a lot of money. It's a hundred grand car and above, depending on how you configure it. Let's do a standstill, not launch control, just zero to 80. Traction control obviously on. 80. It's quick. It's totally quick enough. Ticks a lot of boxes. Looks good. Sounds good. Practical, you can use it all year. You can use these in any weather conditions. And although there's no sound really on the outside from the five cylinder, which is sad, at least on the inside, you can still hear it. And that sound of the five cylinder will always bring a smile to my face.